What is going on guys and welcome to the brand new series on my channel. This is going to be a Nuzlocke challenge of Pokemon Light Platinum. I've personally never played Light Platinum before, but I've heard from a lot of people that it's pretty damn awesome. So, I'm super excited. This morning I woke up and I was like, you know, today seems like a damn good day to start up a new adventure. So that is what we are doing. This is going to be a Nuzlocke. So a lot of you guys have in the comments been requesting that I start up a new Nuzlocke. And, uh, you know, why not switch up the content a little bit on the channel. I'm super stoked. It's always fun to start up a new one of these. And uh, this actually is a pretty interesting game in that it has its own new region. So it's basically going to be an all new adventure for me. And I could not be more stoked. So let's go ahead and hop into it here. Pokemon Light Platinum. Oh yeah. Nice and shiny. Look at that. We got some <laughs> got some sparkly stuff in the background. I'm, I'm excited already. We got Dialga. It looks like Arceus and then Palkia chilling right there. Alright, alright. I can dig it. This is Pokemon Light Platinum by Wesley FG and the Alex Nolasco. Very nice. Let's start up a new game here. No better feeling than starting up a new game. Oh boy. Alright, so we have Sublady comes fading in from the darkness and she's either like a Godzilla-sized giant standing on top of that house or she's just floating here closer to us. I, I, don't, I don't know. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Jasmine. People often call me Professor. This is a type of Pokemon. And she brings out a Snivy. Okay, alright. I like it. In this world, there are creatures called Pokemon. We humans and Pokemon live in harmony, some as partners in battles, and others as friends. Not everyone thinks and acts this way, but studies have shown that Pokemon and humans can share a powerful bond. Yes, indeed. Many new Pokemon to be discovered, and many secrets surrounding rare Pokemon that elude science. To unravel these mysteries, I've been doing research. You are... I am Hayden, and that is us. We're looking nice and swagged out. Okay, we're gonna go with the... Gonna go with the boy character, obviously. What is your name? New name... Alright, so what if I actually, what if I misspelled my name on this part? Go through the whole damn game with a typo, that'd be hilarious. It's Hayden, yeah, gonna go ahead and double check. <laughs> yes, it is. Like, people at fucking Starbucks do not know how to spell my name. You're Hayden, from Yellowtown. We're neighbors. Alright. Apparently we're from Yellowtown, that's, that's cool. Got the girl next door as our freaking professor. Now's when your adventure begins. You will meet many friends and enemies, but you must have the courage to maintain your friendship with your Pokemon and continue to grow. Well, come over to my lab. I'll show you my research. All right, show me that research, girl. <clears throat> so it sounds like we're in like the moving truck. Oh, okay, we are not. We're in some type of weird, like blue laboratory room. What? What is this? Are we already in her lab? Hello? Where is this place? Sounds like a dream, or some kind of messed up worlds. What? Oh shit! There's Pokemon in here. What is it? What the hell are those things? Hello? Oh shit. Oh god, okay. We are apparently at a meeting of the freaking legendaries right now. What? Okay, what? The growling at each other? Why is the game starting off like this? Holy shit. This is intense. Yo, lucky I don't have my starter Pokemon because I destroy your bitch asses. They're like growling at each other. Are they gonna fight? Are we about. An oh shit, we, we are witnessing. <laughs> A legendary fight of some sort. Either that or like some type of legendary orgy. I don't judge. They're all doing their cries. Oh jeez, it's all flashy. Maybe it's some type of party we were just invited to. I don't know, it's like Arceus the god Pokemon's in the middle. Seems like he's getting ganged up on by these other homies. What? Or this is a rave. We got no music, but the flashing lights and shit. What is happening? What is going on? I have so many questions. What are you guys talking about? What? Oh shit, okay, they just... They just ate Arceus. He's gone. What the hell did you guys do with Arceus? Maybe he just teleported, but okay, this is very strange. I've got to be having a nightmare. And we wake up in our bed. So, <laughs> apparently that was a nightmare. I don't know what the hell the deal was with that, but... I'm sure we'll figure it out soon, and we can actually... Why can't we not use our PC? What the hell? I'm gonna actually go ahead and change the text speed to fast, because... Gonna go freaking crazy. We got a GameCube. A Game Boy Advance is connected to serve as the controller. Nice. Alright, oh shit, I hear hey, what's up, Mom? Hi Hayden, I'm glad I woke I'm glad you woke up. I was waiting to give you a message from Professor Jasmine. She's asking if you go you'll go to Central City. Something strange is happening there involving Alpha, the language only you know because your father taught it to you before he disappeared. Well leave it to my father in a damn Pokemon game to disappear. Classic. <laughs> okay, mom. Oh shit, I just talked. There's one more thing, the clock stopped working and I forgot the time. Alright, well I'm just going to set it to something random because I don't think it really matters. And Okay, so we have to go to Central City to 
from me, Professor Jazz, which is very helpful to everyone. Yes, I'm on my way now. See you later if you need me. I'll be downstairs. Okay, so... Apparently we are the only people... <laughs> we're the, me and my dad are the only people, apparently, who know how to speak some type of language. I don't know. Hey, you're the pride of my life. I hope you're always this close to your mom. Well, mom, I'm sorry to break it to you. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab a soda from the fridge, and I'm out of here forever. <laughs> I'm never coming back. We have a Starly on our roof. Oh shit, what's going on? This dude comes flying out of nowhere. Hello, friend. Is this Hayden's house? Yes, that's me. Good. Professor Jasmine asked me to come get you because she urgently needs your help in Central City. I was on my way just now. I almost forgot to introduce myself. I'm Kaori. Yes, the current champion of the Zeri League. I'm a close friend of Professor Jasmine's, and she asked me and a few of my friends to urgently look into this great mystery. She thinks it may be linked to the world's creation. Well, geez, we already just... Got some large issues at hand here. Very interesting. Let's get there as fast as we can. Salamence will take us there right now. Alright, cool. Hell yeah, we get to fly on this guy's Salamence. Oh shit, we actually see the Salamence too. Except we're like hanging on to his belly or something because <laughs> we are not there, but alright. So here we are at Central City. Hey, and it must be close to the lake in the center of the city. Let's go. Okay, so... I actually really enjoy the art style in this. This is pretty damn awesome. I can appreciate a good Pokemon hack, and this is pretty freaking sweet. Jasmine, hello Hayden, I've asked for help from Ash Ketchum, what, and Kaori for this study because it's very hazardous. If something goes wrong, everyone on this planet would be in danger. I'll be careful, Professor. Hi, I'm the current world champion of the Pokemon League. Ash Ketchum's out here, what the fuck? Talk about cameos. I already know you and who you and Kaori are, I've seen you on TV all my life. Yeah, bro, I've watched the anime. Okay, Hayden, I called you here to decipher these ancient inscriptions written in the Alpha language. <clears throat> okay, so we can, like, read this tombstone, apparently. Wow, these inscriptions talk about the creation of the universe. It was made by Arceus, who created the other Pokemon along with the rest of the existence. But it seems that the balance of his power will gradually be broken, and the world will pass through times difficult and dangerous for humanity. Oh, well, shit, that is not very good. Okay, Ash Ketchum doesn't even know what to say. It's really important. It, it really is important, scripture... That must be destroyed before evil forces discover its power. Okay, Professor, I will destroy this document now. This old document now. This dude's about to... Oh, shit, he bust out his Empoleon right here. Empoleon, use Hydro Pump to destroy these writings now. Okay, that was a weak-looking Hydro Pump, but all right. Now he's going to use Rain Dance. You know, I've always wondered what it's like when Pokemon use Rain Dance outside of battle. Like, just the whole area just starts raining. And he fills up the, the whole thing. He's creating puddles and shit. Now it's like a... Okay, it seems like it would be a little easier just to use Hydro Pump to fill it up, but okay. Professor, now I have to deal with the Zeri League's issues. Ash and Hayden, I bid you farewell. Salamence, use fly. Okay, well, he's out of here. I'll go now, too. Goodbye, Professor. If there are any problems, let me know immediately. No, Ash, stay, bro. I, I want to talk to you. Well, he's gone. Hopefully, we see more Ash later. That'd be cool. Oh, shit. Who's this? Who's this clown? Well, well, Professor, I was waiting for those two strong trainers to go away so that I could force you to give me the secrets of the universe's creation. You'll never learn it. Prepare to face the fury of Team Steam. Go Pucciana. Okay, so apparently these are the bad guys. Team Steam is what they're called. Hey Hayden, take a Pokeball from my bag and use it to fight Team Steam. Oh yeah, I'm stoked. Okay, so the starters are the original Kanto. We got Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. And honestly, I haven't even put that much thought into who I want to start with. But I think my gut instinct is telling me Squirtle just because I like turtles. I'm going with Squirtle, dude. Fuck it. It's always a good one to go with a Nuzlocke. This guy has a Poochiana. Looking nice and cute. Classic uh, bad guy Pokemon. Squirtle level 5. What if my Squirtle came out shiny? That would be the most epic thing ever. Alright, so Tackle doing that damage. He's only level 2, so if I lose this, that'd be the worst loss in Nuzlocke history. But Alright, that is a dead Poochiana. <laughs> that was easy. This guy's lucky he fucking waited for those other dudes to leave. Okay, we had a damn salamence. Well, Professor, this time you were lucky, but next time I'll kidnap you. Whoa, gee, okay, that is a, a threat, my friend. And from this point on, Hayden is on Team Steam's hit list. Well, shit. I don't know if I'm that afraid, because they came at me with a level 2 Poochiana, but... Jasmine, thank you very much, but now Team Steam will be after you, so I'll give you this Pokemon to protect yourself. Take care and train hard to challenge the Zeri League, and always be ready to fight Team Steam. Oh, yeah, so we get our Squirtle. Do I nickname? Do you want to give your new Pokemon a nickname? Hell yeah. Alright, so... Squirtle nickname. <coughs> I think I'm gonna name it... <laughs> so, 
Squirtle's Pokedex number is 007, aka 007, so guess what? I'm naming this thing Bond. James Bond. Random impulse nicknames, hell yeah. Okay, Hayden, let's go back to my lab in Yellowtown. Alright, we are just going all over the place. What an eventful first episode. Alright, what's up, girl? Hi, Hayden, welcome to my lab. Thanks, Professor, I'm ready to help you now. Okay, now that you have your first Pokemon, I think you should train to become a Pokemon Master by challenging the Zeri League and its eight gyms. Yes, I've dreamed of this all my life, and now I'll make my dreams come true. Right, but first, I have one last request of you. To the east of Central City lies Marfany Lake. Professor Oak is at the lake, and I urgently need to speak with him. Shit, man, we are... Get to see Professor Oak, too? Can I ask you to get him to contact me? Okay, I'll go right away. Cool, hey, I want one of these Pokemon. Let me have one. Oh, I can't even, can't even click on it. Pokemon always have some mystery to be solved. Yes, indeed. Hey, move out of the way. Thank you. Okay, so I'm just supposed to leave now? Before you leave, here's a little gift from me. Oh, shit. Okay, so we obtained the Pokeball. So, technically, the Nuzlocke rules state that the Nuzlocke technically doesn't start when until you get Pokeballs. So, I guess now it's started. Let's actually go ahead and take a look at our, our Squirtle here. James Bond over here. Rash Nature. There's an item. Wait, hold, holding Moo Moo Milk. What? Okay, that's actually cool. Let's take that. That's actually going to be really useful. I think that heals like 100 HP. Probably not going to really use it to its full potential early on, but whatever. There's Starlies on like every damn roof around here. That's that's cool. Okay, so I'm just going to explore around a little bit. We got a nice little pond over here. Pretty damn cool looking town, honestly. There's like an Arceus statue. Holy shit. Oh, can't go that way. Hey, what do you say? Jasmine's Laboratory is one of the best research centers in the whole Zeri region. This guy's chilling with his shanks. What's up, bro? Today's technology is incredible. I can trade Pokemon with people around the world. You don't say. In Yellowtown, people always want their children to be good trainers who will be the pride of their families and of the city. That'll be me. Okay, so I think this is this is my house, right? Yeah, this is my house. Got a couple more houses here. I'm just going to check them out. Just see if I get anything. Hey, you look like a good trainer. Take this gift for your journey. Holy shit. Got a max potion. Now we have a max potion and Moo Moo Milk with a level 5 Pokemon. Seems like a little bit of overkill, but could have taken, like, a regular potion. Thanks, guy. Some Pokemon only evolve with the help of items like evolutionary stones. Take one so you can evolve any Pokemon that you want. Jesus Christ, we're getting stuff all over the place. We get a Thunderstone from this guy. There's, that means there's probably going to be somewhere that we're going to find a Pokemon that's going to need a Thunderstone. So that's that's cool. There's a show about Pokemon on TV. I learned that fire Pokemon are strong against grass types. Oh, really, bro? Common freaking knowledge. Get good. Let's just go in <coughs> this house here. Sup, y'all? Pokemon equipped with Quick Claw attack first more often than others without the item, so you can use it to win many battles. Oh, I thought he was going to give me a Quick Claw, but he's just telling me about it. Fuck you, guy. Here in my home, I'm always responsible for our food, so I try to please us all. I'll probably try to kill us all. I love Grass-type Pokemon. Yeah, me too. All right, well, that's pretty much all there is here, I guess. I could really use some running shoes. I hold down B anyway, even when I don't have the running shoes. But All right, so... This is the first route, Route 401, and I guess I'm just supposed to go this way. I know we're supposed to go to the east of that place, but okay, let's see. So the first Pokemon I come across, I can catch, and it's going to be the only one I can catch in this route, but first, let's actually battle this guy. Bug Pokemon will always be strong. I'll show you. All right, so customary Bug Catcher guy. He's got four Pokemon. Bug Catcher Jose here has a Caterpie, level four. All right, Squirtle. Do your tackle thing, buddy. Alright, that is a dead Caterpie. And we grew to level 6. Not bad. Next is another Caterpie. Caterpies all around. Okay, I gotta really... The speed up button can be the death of you in a Nuzlocke, literally. <laughs> oh shit, grew to level 7 off that too. And we learned Bubble. Got that stab. Same type attack bonus. Hell yeah. And, oh shit, that's a Venipede. Okay, level 4 Venipede. I'm level 7. I'm just gonna bubble you. Defense curl, huh? Lowered your speed. And another defense curl is not gonna save you here, buddy. Two bubbles takes care of that thing. And James Bond here grows to level 8 already. We are just moving. Oh shit, and 9. Venipede just giving off that experience, though. Alright, next is another Venipede. Alright, now that I'm level, level 9, this, all these things do is defense curl. What is this? You ugly ass bug. Oh shit, it's defense curl and rollout. That is actually kind of scary. But luckily. We're able to take that pretty nicely, and we grew to level 10, and we learned withdraw. Not even bad. Okay, hold on. Let's. Uh, can I go back to my house and heal up? All I have 
is that po max potion and the uh, the moo moo milk, but I think I should be able to heal up here. Rather than wasting an item, hey mom, heal my shit. You're the pride of my life, I hope you're okay. Well shit, she doesn't heal me. You don't even care about me, or my Pokemon, mom. Alright, so I guess I'm probably actually just gonna use, I mean, fully, fully restores the HP and then 100 HP, so I guess it doesn't really matter which one I use. Maybe I should save it. I don't know. How many trainers am I gonna have to battle before I can get to a damn Poke Center? Oh, okay. First encounter at Route 401 is going to be a Wormpool at level two. Not bad. Not bad. Let's go ahead and I don't want to kill it though. The tackle. Okay, perfect. Now I have five Pokeballs, so this should be good enough. If I can't catch a Wormpool, I'm a failure. Alright, we got it first try. Wormpool is our second companion on this Nuzlocke. Not the best, but we'll take it. Using the spikes on its rear end, Wormpool peels the bark off trees and feeds the sap on the sap that oozes out. Jesus, that is disgusting. Okay, well, we'll give you a nickname. I'm gonna name you... Butt. Just because your face looks like a butt. You're a literal, literal butt face. And, you know, you're kind of a booty Pokemon. You're garbage. So, let's see here. Impish nature. Not bad. Not bad. Tackle and string shots. The power is real. Alright, so what do we have here? Now, 401 Central City's up that way, so that's where we're supposed to go. And there's a Pokeball down here. And it's a regular potion, thank god. Okay, so since there is like a trainer right here, I'm gonna go ahead and use this potion. I'm probably just gonna use Squirtle for now. <clears throat> Before the first gym, I'm definitely gonna need to train up somebody else, but for now, let's, you know. Get a nice, uh, get a nice squirtle going. You look like a beginner. Prepare to fight an experienced trainer. Experienced, you say? So this is Youngster Juan here. He's got himself a Poochie and a level 4. Alright. Bubble till you die. I've said this before, but I'm gonna say it every damn time. How the hell does Bubble do damage? Seems like it would literally tickle. Unless it's like toxic bubbles, but I don't know. Oh, shit. Next is Electrike. Oh, bro. Maybe Squirtle was not the best idea. Uh oh. Okay, level 4 Electrike. Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, it's level 4. I don't think this thing should have an electric move, but it could have a spark or something. You never know. Let's just see how much bubble does. Oh, damage. And Thunder Wave. Fuck you, guy. Okay, two bubbles does the trick. And we grew to level 11. Next is Blitzel. <clears throat> Damn, this guy's just got the electric types, man. Level 5 is going to charge. Okay, as long as you just don't have, like, Thunder Shock or something, that is completely fine. And one more bubble takes care of it. Oh, shit, I didn't see what that next one was. But it's just a Spearow, so it's okay. At this point, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to switch anyway, so... Ooh, Bubble Crit takes out the Spearow. Not even bad. And next is a Pidgey. Level 5, just going to go ahead. Oh, paralyzed. Damn it. Ouch. Jesus, man, this Pidgey's just eating it up. Die already, you asshole. Oh, can Sand attack me? Really, bruh? Yes, got it. Okay. Even with fucking pounds of sand in my eyes, still able to connect with the bubble, and we grew to level 12. Very nice. We are already level 12. Holy shit. This is ridiculous. We got $80. Thank you, friend. To be a good trainer, you should take care of your Pokemon and train all over the world. Will do, buddy. Will do. Okay, so what have we over here? I was watching you and saw that you're a Pokemon trainer. I know that Pokemon really like to eat berries, and the best way to get this type of fruit, just use Thief on these small trees, and you'll easily pick some berries. Obtained TM46. So, okay, okay, we have to just use Thief on the things. Why can't I just go up and take the berries off, bro? I don't think I have anybody that can learn Thief, but <laughs> let's just double check anyway. Yeah, nope. We do not. What's up, bro? When a Pokemon is poisoned, you should use an antidote to cure it. Well, give me an antidote then, bro. I haven't even got to a damn mart yet. So let's see. Let's go up over this way. We got another trainer. And honestly, just to play it safe, <laughs> I really do not want to lose this shit. So you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to max potion. I am paralyzed, which actually could be a damn problem, but let's see. Hey, you seem like a good trainer. Get ready for a fight. I'm ready. You got yourself a level 5 Krikatot. Paralyzed and can't move. Oh, shit. This thing is using Bide. Oh, shit. That is not good, actually. 
Uh oh. Wait, hold on. I'm level 12. I can take it, right? Okay, thank god. <laughs> Bide is honestly one of the scariest damn things ever. <laughs> I've, the amount of times I've lost Pokemon on just personal playthroughs because of freaking Bide. Like, this Krigatot looks so damn innocent. Bide could fuck you up, though. Alright, next is a Caterpie. I kind of want to get butt experience, but I'm over it. It's gonna bubble. Next is a Venipede. Being paralyzed is actually really damn annoying. Luckily, it doesn't seem like I'm... Okay, cool. Connected on another one. And we grew to level 13. Look at us. Moving right along here. Trying to learn Water Gun. Hell yes. More powerful stab? I'll take it. Water Gun's 40. Bubble's 20. I'm just gonna get rid of Bubble. Just... Fuck it. And next is a Metapod. And damn it. Damn it. There we go. <laughs> Good thing that thing cannot take a special attack. And next is one last Metapod. And we grew to level 14. Holy shit. <clears throat> We're gonna, like, evolve before we get to the damn next town. Holy shit. Okay, well. That's what I like to see. I really wish I had some damn running shoes still. What's up, bro? In Central City, there's a TV radio station that broadcasts radio and TV all over the world. Oh, really? Found a potion right here. Cool. So this is still the same route. I can't catch another Pokemon. Still Route 401. I would have rather had a Starly, damn it. But I got a Wurmple, so... Whatever. So here we are. Central City. What's up, bro? You're a trainer. I think this will be of use to you. Obtained the Ultra Ball. What the hell we are... So we've already got Max Potions and Ultra Balls. What? What is this? What is this game? When I grow older, I will attend the University of Inhor. It's very big and beautiful and offers many different fields of study. Cool. So this town looks pretty sweet. This is where we were with the, uh, the tombstone thing. But uh, where the hell am I supposed to go? I'm just going to look around, again, I guess. So, working in the mines is very dangerous. Miners always use their safety equipment and have good onyx as their companion. Nice. What's this? Contest hall. Nice, nice. Okay, here's the Poke Center. This is what I was freaking looking for. And I believe... Okay, so I'm supposed to go to the east of this place to find Professor Oak's old ass. So let's heal up really quickly. Thank you. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon full health. Thanks. Have a nice day. See, she doesn't see... I like how she doesn't say, hope to see you again. She just says, have a nice day. She doesn't hope my Pokemon die. Very nice of her. So, in this city, there are many buildings that are important throughout the Zeri region. Really? Let's go in here, then. Sup, nerds? <clears throat> when I grow older, I will attend the university. Okay, everybody, uh... Everybody wants to go to the university, apparently. First gym in the Zeri League is located in Horse City. Later uses bug types, so to win easily, just use fire Pokemon. Okay, well, that's that's good intel. Now we know it's a, it's a bug gym. Very nice, very nice. I guess I'm just gonna look around at these houses. Considering the items I got in the first town, there's probably people who give you shit. Sunset Farms, that's where I work, but right now I'm taking a long vacation. Cowboy clothes I'm wearing are the latest fashion trend. Oh, really? <clears throat> Current champion of Zeri is Kaori. He was born here in Central City, and now one of the best trainers in the world. Yeah, I already met that guy. He's my homie. I flew on his Salamence. You could say things are getting pretty serious. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm just gonna go over to the east. I, I guess just over this way is where I'm supposed to go. Hello? Yesterday I saw a combi in Inhor Woods. It looked very pretty, but it was I was still scared. What the hell is this? Radio TV station. Cool. We have the Mart here. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, look at this. My face is gonna be in this Pichu. Oh, it doesn't doesn't actually let you do it. What what the hell? I want my face to be in that Pichu. What the hell are you guys doing? You're a trainer. I think you'll be able to use this for something. Obtain TM01. Focus Punch. Jesus. Okay, we already got Focus Punch. Just training up her Krogunk here. Sup, bug guy. In the Safari Zone, you can catch all types of Pokemon, but I prefer... Pro this is a Safari Zone right here? What? First town. Already got Safari Zone. Many ways to catch Pokemon. Holy shit, I gotta check that out, but... Let's go over this way, because this is where... I think we're gonna find Professor Oak. Marfany Lake, what's up? Very unusual Pokemon like Magikarp and Feebas. Hmm, really? Okay, so over here we have a Pokeball. And this is. Oh, we found a Super Potion. So this is a new route, I believe. Hold on, let me make sure. Okay, yeah, so this is its own route. I can catch a wild Pokemon. The first one I come across, but 
Do I want to wait? Fuck, I'm just going... Oh, okay. She, she saw me. You asshole. Pokemon should always be fit and ready for battle. Don't worry. My Squirtle is freaking ripped. Alright, we got a Krogon here. Water Gun. One hit KO. Next is a Blitzel. This is scary because now that they're higher levels, they might actually have electric moves, but it's looking like they're just one-hit KOs, so that's pretty awesome. Alright, Bidoof. <laughs> you got a freaking Bidoof. And last is Spiro. Okay, freaking Squirtle is just destroying it right now. Holy hell. Maybe I should train up Wurmple. Honestly. Sup, Log? Should I just battle this guy? I'm gonna train up Butt with this guy really quickly. Being a trainer means being prepared for battle at any time. I hope you're ready now. <clears throat> oh, I'm ready. Oh, you got a level 8 Stunky. Okay, that's actually shitty. I should I should have just let off with this damn thing. Acid crit. Fuck you, guy. And you lowered my defense? But go to level 3 and 4 and 5. <laughs> and learn Poison Sting. Next is a Shinx. So, you know, I'm just going to stay in. Intimidated me. Damn you. And one more Water Gun does the trick. Next is another Stunky. And I'm just going to stay in. Level 9 Stunky, critical hit on the water gun. Holy shit, not bad. Pachirisu. Okay. Uh-oh. Please do not have... Okay, I'm just gonna use this regular potion. Do not have an electric move. Bide. Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. This thing's about to bide. I'm six levels higher, but still. Should I just go into butt? I'm switching into Butt, dude. It's unleash unleashing its energy. Unfortunately, that means that Butt is gonna die. Well, first episode. Already got a Pokemon to die. Damn it, Butt. Okay, but it's better than if I lost my Squirtle, though. So, you know, whatever. Okay, Patrizu dies. Whew, that was actually... Oh, look at that. I didn't even realize fucking what level we were. I'm stupid. <laughs> we're actually evolving into War Turtle. In the very first episode. Holy shit, I feel like I'm over-leveled, but... Like, what, the, what am I supposed to do? We already have a freaking War Turtle. The Bond nickname no longer really works, but he's, he's still Bond in my heart. Alright, guys. We're gonna end the episode here. Next time, we're gonna freaking figure out where the hell Professor Oak is at. So, uh, yeah. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed. And be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to be alerted when uh, new episodes come out and stuff. So, see you later, guys.